ago, Scott Brazda told us how Healing House had reinvented one of its fundraisers by turning martini glasses into candles. We check back in on how that fundraiser turned out in tonight's Spirit of Acadiana. All right, Scott Brassi here at Caroline and Company. You might remember the Spirit of Acadiana segment. We, we showed you how martini glasses were turned into candles. I'd love to show you some of those glasses. I'd love to show you how this whole project has turned out. But here at Caroline and Company, thanks to you and your hearts, something really funny has happened. Philanthropically funny. It was amazing. It was um, an idea we just kind of floated by to see if they maybe could do something with the past martini glasses that we had and also the glasses that we had left over this year because we weren't able to have our big gala. Life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. COVID leaves you with martini glasses. You have the bourbon royalty folks turn those glasses into candles. The popularity of which just surprised our local retailer. I was. It was something that we had. This whole display was full and it was wiped out within days. We still have people coming in looking for them. Uh, but yeah, it was very quick. Now, we are proud to say that Spirit of Acadiana did play a part in the rapid sale of 130 glasses slash candles. And then in the interim, um, you had run a Spirit of Acadiana for us. We had some other glasses in the works, some other martini glasses being made into candles. Once your story ran, our glasses sold out in four hours. <laughs> and um, I was. So many neat things have come of this. Obviously, more revenue for Healing House and ideas for a new event. And just the synergy between a great nonprofit, a great retailer, and some absolutely great candle makers. We formed a new partnership, made some new friends, and something I think we'll go forward with in years to come. We wish we could show you some of the candles. You don't have any more hidden in the back? No, we do not. <laughs> Thanks again to Katie Anna in Lafayette, Scott Brassett, KTC TV3.